Hey there, welcome back. So let us take a look at how you can install MySQL on your Mac machine. So here I am in the browser on Google and you need to search for MySQL over here. The moment you search, you are going to be presented with a list of options with this first website over here, which is mysql.com. Now this is the link to the official website and you can go over to this website. You will see this official logo of MySQL coming in over here. Okay. So you can go through this website. You can read more about MySQL database here. You can also take a look at like who are the customers who use MySQL today. Okay. You will have all the information appear over here. Okay. But since we are here for installation, I'm just going to head over to downloads and I'm going to just scroll down a bit. Now here, if you scroll down, you're going to see this option here, MySQL community GPL downloads. So I'll just click on this link over here and you will again see a lot of download options over here. So these are the different tools that MySQL has to offer. Okay. You have workbench, shell, router, community server. So what we'll do is we'll click on MySQL community server. And you will be shown this particular page where you will see Mac OS is by default selected under operating system. Okay. So if it's not selected, you can just click on this and select the operating system Mac OS and you can have the latest version selected over here. Okay. So now here you can select the different OS version over here. So you have options like Mac OS 13 ARM or Mac OS 13 x86. So ARM is for Apple based chips. So if you have your Mac machine, which makes use of Apple based chips like M1, M2 and so on, you can select this option. Or if you are using a Mac that is making use of Intel based chips, you can select this x86 option over here. Okay. So based on that, the filter will change. Okay. You can see, and you can also select all and you can see the different versions that are available over here. So you have ARM version x86 and then for these two architecture, you have different types of installers. Like you have DMG archive, you have compressed tar archive and tar files. Okay. So since I'm on x86, I'm just going to download the DMG version by clicking on download over here. Now, the moment you click on download, you will be asked to log in or sign up over here. Okay. So I don't want to do that. You can optionally create an account and stay updated with all the information that MySQL has for you. But I would just say, no, thanks. Start my download and it will begin the download. And I have already downloaded this particular software here. So I'm not going to download again. I'm just going to go to my downloads and you can see this download happen over here. Okay. So in order to begin the installation, now you need to double click on the installer and it will begin the installation process. So installing MySQL is pretty simple. Like it's just like any other software, but there are some options that you need to select, which we'll take a look now. So once you click on the DMG download, you will see this page open, which will have dot package files. And if you click on that, you will see the installer open up and it will ask for permission. This package will run a program to determine if software can be installed. So you can say allow because we've downloaded this from a trusted source on our system. Okay. So you can say allow and you will have a series of steps that you can go through that you can see here on the left hand side, like the introduction, license, destination, and so on. So I'll go ahead. Okay. You have the license agreement, which you can go through if you wish to, I'll just scroll down and I'll say continue. You can optionally read this and here again, we are getting an agree pop-up, which I'll say yes. Now it will show you the installation type over here. So it is doing a standard install on my computer and it is taking this much of space and I can click install and go ahead. Okay. I can even change the install location by clicking on this button. 
So you can see different options over here, like install for all users on this computer, install for me only, or install on a specific disk. Okay, so I'll keep this selected here and I'll say continue. You can even customize the installation by clicking on the customize button over here. Okay, so you can see we have MySQL server, preference pane and launch HD support by default added over here, like checked, okay. Now I'll say, go back, okay. We'll have standard installation only, okay. So I'll say install. Now it'll start preparing for installation and it'll ask for your system password. So you can ask, you can enter the system password over here and you can say install the software and give this a little bit of time. It will start writing the files onto your system. Now in the next step, it is going to ask you to configure MySQL server, okay? So you can use a strong password encryption or you can use a legacy password encryption. So out of these two options, I'll keep this default selection over here, use the strong password encryption and I'll go ahead next. Now here it will ask you to enter the password for the root user. Now root user is like an admin user in MySQL and I'll give this a password. So I'll enter the password of my choice over here and just be sure to have at least eight characters and follow the rules that they have mentioned over here. I'll say finish and it will perform some initial setup and again it will ask for my system password. So I'll just enter that over here. Okay, and I'll say okay. So you will see some progress happening over here for a while and uh, it will perform the initial database setup. So we'll wait for a while until this is complete. So the installation is successful now. As you can see, I have the thank you message up here. So I'll just say close and this will simply close and move the installer to the bin. Okay. And we are done with the installation for MySQL. Now, once we are done with the installation of uh, MySQL, we need to install a user interface to connect to MySQL server. So right now what we have done is we have installed MySQL server. It does not have an interface and we need a tool to connect to our database. So we'll get back to the browser. I'll go back over here and this is our downloads page and I'll go back again. So here on the downloads page, like MySQL community downloads, we have an option here, MySQL workbench. So we'll click on this and we'll have my Mac OS selected and I'll select the OS version. So ARM again is for Mac OS chips and x86 is for Intel. So depending on what you have, you can choose. Now I am on Intel chip, so I'll just select 8x86 and I'll just download this. Now to save time, I have already downloaded this installer. So you can see the installer here in my downloads. And what I would do is I would just double click on this one and I would open this DMG file. Now this installation for MySQL Workbench is pretty straightforward like any other Mac software we need to just drag drop this into the applications folder. And once we do that, we will have MySQL Workbench app into our Mac OS. So I believe it has been copied. Let me go to application and sort by date modified. Okay, it's not yet copied. So how the copy worked is I had to select this MySQL Workbench, drag it to the application folder. And if you drag over here, the application folder will open up and then you can leave it over here. Okay. So this is how I was able to do it. And I'll just stop this one. Okay. Because I'm already copying this. So it's about five seconds remaining now. And I believe it's copied. Okay. So you can see MySQL workbench appear over here. So I'll just double click on this software and I have it in my application. And let us take a look at the interface of MySQL workbench. So it'll prompt you whether you wish to open it since you have downloaded this from the internet. 
So I'll say open and I'll wait for it to open. So you will see this interface, something like this. And you can read the description here. So MySQL Workbench is an official graphic user interface tool for MySQL. Okay, so this is provided to us by MySQL itself. And it allows you to design, create and browse our database. And you'll see one connection already created over here. So how it works is, since this is a client, which you can use to connect to the server, we have to create connections. So you have a connection here already created. If you click on this, you will be prompted for the password. I'll say cancel. And you can even right click and edit the connection. So the moment you edit, you will see different information like host name, the port number, the username and the default schema here. Okay. And you can even test the connection. So I can say test and it will prompt for the password and I can just enter the password that I have entered when I had installed MySQL. So that is something you need to remember. I'll say, okay. And you will see a connection warning. I'll say continue anyway. And you should see successfully made an SQL connection, which means that the password was correct and all the other details are correct. Okay. So I can either connect this way or I can even create a new connection. So you can say, you can enter the connection name. You can enter the IP over here the port, the username with which you are connecting and connect. Okay. So this is about the interface. And if you click on this, since I have already entered my password, it is, it is asking me whether you wish to continue anyway, I'll say continue and you will be prompted for password, which you have to enter. And then you will be taken to this page, which is the main page of my SQL editor. Okay. So this is the MySQL homepage or the main page, I should say, where you will start writing queries. All right. So that's about how you can install and set up MySQL and MySQL Workbench on your Mac machine.